In the cool solitude of our apartment, with the city's hum as a distant backdrop, I found myself standing at the threshold of an uncharted territory. My wife, Clara, had left for a business trip, her presence in our home now replaced by the lingering scent of her perfume. It was during these moments of solitude that curiosity, a silent and persistent whisper, urged me to explore the fabrics of her world. Among the sea of her belongings, a pink nightie caught my eye. It was delicate, with fabric that seemed to shimmer with a light of its own. Little did I know, it was far more than just fabric and thread. With a mixture of trepidation and thrill, I slipped into the nightie. The moment the fabric caressed my skin, a surge of warmth enveloped me, not just a physical warmth, but something deeper, altering the very essence of my being. It was as if the nightie was weaving its threads around my identity, pulling me into a dance of transformation. Before I could comprehend the gravity of the situation, the reflection in the mirror no longer showed the man I knew myself to be. Instead, a woman, with features soft yet strikingly familiar, stared back at me. Panic surged through my veins, but it was quickly overshadowed by a surreal acceptance. I was her, and she was me. Days passed, and with each passing moment, I learned to navigate the world through this new lens. The nighty, once a mere garment, had become my second skin, refusing to part from me, as if it was safeguarding its newly created masterpiece. My attempts to revert to my original self were futile, the magic of the nighty weaving a reality where the lines between desire and destiny blurred. Upon Clara's return, the air was thick with anticipation. Her eyes, always a mirror to her soul, reflected a concoction of emotions. Love, triumph, and a hint of something enigmatic. As I stood before her, vulnerable yet veiled in the strength of my new identity, she whispered words that unraveled the last threads of the mystery. It was always meant to be this way, she said softly, her gaze unwavering. The nighty wasn't just a garment but a key to unlock the truth within you. A truth I've always seen and loved. Her confession poured into the spaces between us, filling them with a revelation that was as unsettling as it was liberating. The nighty, a magical artifact, was her design, a means to transform me into the embodiment of an unspoken desire we both harbored. The revelation that it was all a meticulously laid plan, a trap to transcend the boundaries of my identity, left me reeling. Yet, in the depths of my newfound self, a peculiar sense of completeness resided. As my wife, you'll embark on a journey not of return but of becoming, Clara continued, her words a tender caress. Together, we'll explore the expanse of our love, unfettered by the conventions that once confined us. In the wake of her revelation, a myriad of emotions stormed within me. Betrayal, for the choice that was never mine to make. Fear, for the unknown paths that lay ahead. But, surprisingly, a burgeoning sense of freedom and acceptance. The realization dawned on me that perhaps, in the deepest recesses of my heart, a part of me yearned for this liberation from the man I was expected to be. As days melded into nights, and seasons changed their hues, I found solace in the love that refused to waver, despite the unconventional canvas it chose to manifest. Clara, my wife, stood by me, not just as a partner but as a guide into this new existence. Our love, resilient and unorthodox, became a testament to the belief that sometimes, in the most unexpected of ways, we find our true selves. In this journey of transformation, I learned that magic wasn't just in the spells or enchanted garments but in the power of love to transcend the physical and touch the essence of our beings. And as I embraced my new life, with Clara by my side, I realized that sometimes, the greatest adventures are not those we set out to find but those that find us, transforming us in ways we never dared to imagine.